I've been filming our focus fucks doing the level one. I just can't be bothered. What's up everyone, it's Michael here. Uh, clearly you can tell I'm really ill. Um, and today we're um, just making a vlog really, just cause I'm bored and I have nothing to do. I would have been at work, but I'm just so ill right now. I can't even fathom the idea of working right now because it's just too much really. <laughs> you can hear it in my throat and yeah. I like, I like talking about stuff, you know. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who, I love talking about stuff, are you fucking joking? Yeah, I like talking about stuff, you know, stuff to do with me because it's all about me really, like, I'm my bitch. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. It's been a really couple of good months really, I just managed to find myself a job, two jobs at that actually, like, fucking hell. And last year I was trying to find myself like, what, barely struggling to find one and now it's just like, fuck. Like, it's weird because Everybody says that like in nine, when you're 19, or at least the people I've talked to, 19 you have to be, like the year 9, like, like you're, the age 19 you have to be like kind of careful for because obviously when you're 19, a lot of things have happened to people like 19, like, like you know the, the age of 27, you know what I'm saying, like that's the rate, like a lot of people died in that year and shit like that, so I think the same was for the 19. Um, it's weird because like, a lot of good things have happened this year. Don't get me wrong, a lot of bad things have happened as well. Like, they were kind of all equal out, but I thought, well, not really. I feel like a lot of good things more have happened. Like, opportunity wise, I've had a lot of things coming up my way and stuff like that. Like, a lot of problems happened between a couple of people and stuff like that, and I managed to make amends with them. I guess that's what I think was personally a good accomplishment for me, but um, the jobs thing was definitely one. I didn't think I would be working this year. I thought I'd be like, oh, going out and stuff like that. And, yeah, I want to go out, but at the same breath, it's like, I would rather make money knowing that I'm going to be, be cool and content on it and like, go out and not have any money or have to keep asking my parents. I mean, nobody really wants to be pondering off their mum and dad all the time, do you know what I'm saying? I don't mind, like, I don't mind doing it. <laughs> At a certain point, your mum and your dad get really fit, like, get really fed up and it's just like, you don't really want to keep asking them, like, yo, mum, can you give me a tenner? Or like, dad, you know, but bearing in mind, I had a lot of money, like, I think that's what I want to get into as well, like. Tell me, tell me how my dumb ass got three grand, like, not just like two grand, like the simple two grand you'll get from uni. The two, the, the two grand that like you'll get from your student loan, but then I'll get like another grand from my bank and it's gone, like it's gone, it's not even like, I was like, I, last year I was very dumb and very like alcoholic fuel and stuff like that and that was all like all about going out, like fuck unis, that's what kind of half of uni is all about, just going out having fun and just being yourself really and just kind of getting drunk and having, going clubbing and shit, like that's, that's really what uni is about for, for the first two weeks and then like that's not what it's all about, it's like then you realise that fuck, oh god I've got like fucking shit to do and um, I got a lot of money, well first of all actually for my freshers I didn't even realise like my student loan came through, I was actually quite dumb, I have two cards and um, one card that I put on like student funds and stuff didn't actually, like I thought in my head it would have gone on that card for the whole freshers I was just using I guess what it was my overdraft and I'm you know, thinking and then I look on my other card and after like freshers are kind of finished I look and I still had like two grand on me like from the student from what I would have used for freshers and shit like that and bear in mind I live at home so I didn't have like yeah I live at home so it's kind of far for me and stuff so I didn't realize but I had two like grand and everybody had already kind of spent their money and I was like what that's for doodle cake like I'm loaded and at the time I thought I had like loads of money I was like yeah don't come up to me I was like you would think oh yeah well that's that's the case I've got that amount of money I'm gonna probably save it like and the freshness is over there's no part in that wrong I found an excuse to like fucking spend that money and I'm looking at myself like how the fuck I'm living at home I you think it'd be cheaper right I'm fucking struggling so like, <laughs> it's just, and it's funny now, but like at the time it was shit because it's like I had no money. And I was just like, I've spent all my money, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. And I'm just stupid, like this is stupid. And like even now, I'm in not the same position as before, like hell no. I'll come to another situation which was kind of worse and I was like, yeah, no. But yeah, it was stupid and I just ended up spending my money and like come to it like free grand. I just don't think like you would have free grand, you'd think that lasts you a couple of months. Wrong. For me it's a couple of weeks, days even if that. So, so then March came, that was when my second instalment came. No, I think it was. Yeah, my second instalment came. Well no, my second instalment came in January and obviously I think I stupidly spent it. I had my birthday party there and stuff like that and like looking back at it now I wish I just, I had a good birthday but 
it didn't I didn't need to spend that much and stuff like that. Like I just spent it so stupidly. And by the time March came I had no money, straight up didn't and I can tell you now it's like fucking shit. And it's actually what kind of encouraged me to get a job because I feel like at the end of the day like the money's gonna go. And again <laughs> if I don't control it the, the better way and so obviously me doing that I've Kind of got myself, I just tried to do as hard as I can and stuff and I was kind of looking for jobs as I was in uni but I knew I wasn't going to get it because I didn't want like a full time student who's probably not going to be dependable and stuff like that so I thought I'd just give up and just like kind of go out and just do whatever really and just save it as much as I possibly can. One day I was out with my friend, we were, went to like um, this place called Wasabi and I was like yeah, it was really cool you know what I'm saying like we just we kind of just chill, got my food, eat down, sit down and stuff like that and all of a sudden I just think to myself like What's the shot? What's the, what's the, what do you think the likelihood of me getting a job here would be if I was to maybe just ask them? They might want to like, I don't know, they might want to hire my dumb ass. Um, so I was like, okay, let me just ask them. So I got up to the front counter and this woman, she's so nice, she's like lovely. I love her, she's so amazing. She's actually, um, what happened was like, uh, I went up there, I was like, oh, I don't suppose you're like hiring or anything. She's like, um, I don't think we are at the moment right now, but if you give us um, your name and number, uh, you, you might get that too soon, and I was like, you know, I've heard that so many times, I'm probably not going to get a call back. So I just gave them, but you know what, it was worth a shot, so I just put my name and number down, wasn't really expecting the call or anything. I'm out with my friend, and my friend, oh dear, you know who you are. She, we, oh, I love her so much. So we were out and stuff like that, and I was with a couple of uh, other friends as well, and they were so cool as well, trust me. It was a really fun day, I actually think it was probably one of the best days of my life, because I think it was just genuine fun in London. Um, it was amazing and they know who they are and they, I love them so much, just, yeah, you know who you are. So um, we went out and I was all of a sudden we were in the park and just chilling, vibing, that's what I fucking love doing, I'm like, all day. We were in the park and then, you know, just chilling, listening to music, smoking, yeah, <laughs> well, not me. Um, yeah, it was really good and all of a sudden, get a call and it's like, from the place and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, they say, um, we'd like to invite you back to an interview on Monday, bearing in mind, I was going to Bulgaria the week after, so they said, um, and they, they really complied with me, like, they, they were trying to work it around my time and stuff like that, and they were like, okay, well you leave on the Bulgarian Wednesday, so how about you have the induction on Monday, and I was like, wow, like, yeah, that's really good, like, and, um, it was fine, you know what I'm saying? And they call me and they're like, yeah, you should come in and stuff like that. I had the election, it was really fun, I enjoyed it. Um, I had something to look forward to when going on holiday, because like the holiday was amazing. And I had a good time and stuff like that. Um, like, but the whole idea is, is that is that I had to, like by March, I didn't have any money. So for me to have that opportunity in April to be able to like, you know, like I feel like God saw how I was in March. Like he fucking saw, like I had no money. I was going to uni, the bearing in mind I still had uni. I had no money, I was like struggling to get to uni even that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I just did, I, I realised like in March that like going to uni where you don't even need to be at uni, like do you know what I'm saying? Like it's just yeah, it's just it's just horrible because like I was fucking going on it was just horrible, like I didn't think that you have to have money to be happy, but it does help. Use it the right way. I think the whole lesson is just use your money in the right way. Don't use the pen on money as much, but do you know what I'm saying? Like I just think it's good. To kind of have that stability, like have that stability, knowing that you can fund for yourself, and I think the idea is just being more, more independent. I think like these past couple of weeks have been more independent. I have actually been quite ill these past couple of weeks as well, which doesn't help because obviously you're ill. You don't really want to go in and stuff like that. Like even today, I kind of had to. I couldn't go into work, and I'm not going into work tomorrow because it's just um, it's just this flu. I don't know. I don't think it's flu or something. I just woke up. I wasn't feeling well all down there, toilet, you can imagine what I was going through, I was going through hell. So, with that being said, it's just like, I don't really want to put myself at risk, bearing in mind the job I do, it's kind of like orientated around health and safety, so you don't really want to be like, doing shit that's going to hurt, obviously affect the way you are, like, you don't want to be like, contaminating shit and stuff like that, like health and safety is really key in that place. I am going to end it now, because I just think it's 12 minutes on there, and probably if they're going to cut this shit down. Um, it might be shit, I don't know. I'm just gonna hopefully, just hope for the best and when I edit it. I don't know, like, I don't know. And I'm just gonna hope that it's good because if it's not, we are gonna have some issues as well. This is why I wanted to like get a job because I feel like the money I'm gonna make from this I would like to put towards better 
equipment for the camera, make more better films, make more, do do a lot more. I'm just gonna start like the job was obviously gonna be like put towards equipment and stuff like that. Like it would really help if I had like better equipment. You know what I'm saying? Like the light things and stuff like that, and like sound equipment, like good lighting, good sound. Ace. Ace. I shall see you soon. Hopefully this is good. This video quality is good because I need to make sure. So I'll see you later.